Some of the world's most powerful and wealthy people are on the defensive after the release of millions of records on offshore financial dealings, raising questions over the widespread use of such tactics to avoid taxes and political oversight. There's a, a huge industry here that we're looking at, and I think that's probably one of the big takeouts from this is the size of this industry and the amount of money that flows through. An international coalition of media outlets on an investigation with the Washington-based International Consortium of Investigative Journalists brought to light details of the offshore assets and services based on a cache of 11.5 million records. The ICIJ said an anonymous source provided internal documents from the Panama-based law firm Mossack Fonseca, one of the world's largest creators of shell companies. The co-founder of the firm confirmed the documents being investigated were authentic and illegally obtained by hackers. All those names that show up there, including the football players, including the mafia types, all of those are not our clients. They are clients of bank intermediaries that bought one of our incorporated companies, sold it, and those people used it for who knows what. According to the ICIJ's website, numerous banks have worked with the Panama-based company to create offshore accounts. As to the scope of this, the extent of this, we can't comment at this stage on this, but as far as the banks more specifically are concerned, there's a lot that is already required from the European banks in terms of compliance. Past and present political figures from various countries are among those named in the reports. In Russia, the scandal faced an effective coverage ban, with Russian television making no mention of it Monday morning. There aren't any accounts directly connecting Putin to the companies, but even if there were, it is unlikely that this would shock his supporters in Russia. A spokesman for Russian President Vladimir Putin suggested the reports are aimed at smearing the country in a parliamentary election year. It's obvious that the intention, the main target of this attack, was in the first place against our country and then against President Putin himself. Iceland's foreign minister defended his country's prime minister, who has previously been accused of having financial conflicts of interest. In fact, it is quite strange to put his face on a poster with some criminals over the world. And that is something that is, is unfair and unpolite and should not be seen. The ICIJ said the documents involve over 210,000 companies and more than 14,000 clients of Mossack Fonseca. The nonprofit group said it would release the full list of companies and people linked to them early next month. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press.